read to you from my favorite, one of my favorite band books, which is Catch-22 by Joseph Heller. Um, it was published in 1961. Um, it was considered dangerous, <clears throat> pardon me, because of objectionable language. It was banned in Ohio in 1972, which was overturned in 1976, and it was challenged by Dallas, Texas Independent School District High School in 74, and also in Washington State in 1979. It is one of the most famous anti-war novels there is. Um, and the scene I want to read to you is um, when Appleby comes into the office, he would like to see Major Major, and in between him and Major Major is, is the sergeant who is sort of like the, the, the person that can allow you in to see Major Major, and this is the conversation that they have. The sergeant there invited him to be seated. Thank you, sergeant. I think I will, said Appleby. About how long will I have to wait? I've still got a lot to get done today so that I can be fully prepared bright and early tomorrow morning to go into combat the minute they want me to. Sir? What's that, Sergeant? What was your question? About how long will I have to wait before I can go in to see the Major? Just until he goes out to lunch, Sergeant Towser replied. Then you can go right in. But he won't be there then, will he? No, sir. Major Major won't be back in his office until after lunch. I see, Appleby decided uncertainly. I think I'd better come back after lunch then. Appleby turned from the orderly room in secret confusion. The moment he stepped outside, he thought he saw a tall, dark officer who looked a little like Henry Fonda come jumping out of the window of the orderly room tent and go scooting out of sight around the corner. Appleby halted and squeezed his eyes closed. An anxious doubt assailed him. He wondered if he were suffering from malaria or worse, from an overdose of atabrine tablets. Appleby had been taking four times as many atabrine tablets as the amount prescribed because he wanted to be four times as good a pilot as everyone else. His eyes were still shut when Sergeant Towser tapped him lightly on the shoulder and told him he could go in now if he wanted to since Major Major had just gone out. Appleby's confidence returned. Thank you, Sergeant. Will he be back soon? He'll be right back after lunch. Then you'll have to go right out and wait for him in front until he leaves for dinner. Major Major never sees anyone in his office while he's in his office. Sergeant, what did you just say? I said that Major Major never sees anyone in his office while he's in his office. Appleby stared at Sergeant Towser intently and attempted a firm tone. Sergeant, are you trying to make a fool out of me because I'm new to the squadron and you've been overseas a long time? Oh, no, sir, answered the sergeant. Those are my orders. You can ask Major Major when you see him. That's just what I intend to do, sergeant. When can I see him? Never. The reason that book made such a huge difference to me was that I started noticing that the world is completely absurd at an early age and nothing made any sense, especially the things that should make sense, like government and, 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 and administration and things like that. And so when I read Catch-22, I realized that things aren't going to make sense and things don't always make sense. And the older I get, the more I read Catch-22 to remind me that things don't make sense.